Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And a friendly reminder, I am available for private reading. So if you're after one, I have those links down below in the description box. Clear messages, advice, and guidance, please, for my Capricorns. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. All right, your person, the Nine of Cups in reverse. Ooh, you've got someone here spying on you, Capricorn. Their true intentions towards you, the Three of Swords. Okay, bit of a warning. And your final outcome advice here is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so this is just an, a reminder here to keep doing what you're doing. All right, Oop. and we have the Ace of Pentacles. There's some sort of new beginning here, something that's solid, something stable, something secure. There's potential for that. Um, I'm not sure if it's with this person or not, though, Capricorn, so we're going to have to take a look. I feel like with the Seven of Cups in reverse, there's clarity. There's clarity about this person. There's clarity about this connection. Somebody here might also be, you know, eliminating obstacles, uh, trying to come back around to you. But we'll see. This person's definitely spying on you. So they, they really could be a secret admirer, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be somebody who broke your heart. But I do feel like this person, I'm reading this Three of Swords more so as wanting to get to the heart of the matter here. Maybe know if you're single. Maybe know why things didn't work out. Um, but let's see. Seven of Cups in reverse for my Capricorns. Why is this here? All right, we've got the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, a lot of communication coming in. Okay, it looks like here with this Aries energy, the Emperor in reverse. Hmm, okay, I feel like someone here is exhausted. And I think it's your person, to be honest. Now, it is possible that someone has gotten out of some sort of relationship with somebody who is either abusive or, or you know, borderline or narcissistic Um it's a my way or the highway energy, but I'm kind of seeing that the person that that's interested in you here, whether it's someone you've dealt with or it's somebody brand new, I kind of get that they're they're exhausted, they're tired, maybe because they've had these, you know, they've had some horrible relationships in in the recent past, um, but also I, I kind of feel like this person's coming to terms with how their ego has been running the show. And, you know, maybe this person was a little bit too stringent, a little bit too rigid about the way they show up in relationships, about the certain things that they wanted to happen in relationships that maybe were unrealistic. And of course, this could be in your relationship with them or in their past, because I kind of feel like this person is realizing that their ego has been keeping them stuck in un unhealthy patterns, unhealthy relationships. And I kind of get this energy of somebody that wants to do things differently because they want something solid. They want something secure. And I feel like they're also realizing they need to let their guard down, that they were letting their, their ego run the show here. So the nine of cups in reverse, it's interesting. Now it is possible this is somebody who's feeling emotionally drained and has walked away from you. But for a lot of you, I'm getting this nine of cups in reverse is this person's ready to switch things up. It's like your person wants stability. They want security. I'm getting that they're looking at these past patterns that they have, um, either with the people they allow into their lives or how they show up in, in relationships and maybe a little bit of both. And, and they're exhausted. And I feel like they're having, you know, a come to Jesus moment, right? Or an aha moment here about, wow, I need to, you know, I want marriage. I want commitment. I want stability but I also need to change my ways. That's kind of what I'm getting. All right, so why do we have this Nine of Cups in reverse? They're sick of just the casual stuff. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, like this person's ready to change things up. This person is ready to be in a connection with someone who pulls their weight. And, and also I think they're realizing that maybe they were the problem. That's kind of what I'm getting with this Knight of Pentacles. So I feel this Knight of Pentacles is somebody who's been taking notes, 
somebody who's been like looking, doing some introspection, maybe even like listening to like self-help videos, you know, courses, maybe even in therapy, but somebody who's extremely self-aware and working towards changing the outcome, changing the outcome here. I like this energy Capricorn. And we see the Ace of Swords energy in reverse. Yeah, some of you, this is someone who does have a blocked throat chakra. They may have also or may be recognizing that they don't always speak up, um, speak their truth. Uh, it's definitely possible that this person was a bit of a people pleaser. But I'm getting that they may have you know, gotten frustrated when they didn't get their needs met, but because they didn't speak up and either in the relationship with you or in their previous relationships. I do think that you're not currently in communication with this person because they're doing this introspection, because they're basically, it looks like they're healing. Um, but I do feel like they're doing some, some pretty heavy, heavy lifting here when it comes to the emotional stuff and they're spying on you, the page of swords. All right. They're checking you out. I feel like they're, they're not quite ready to communicate just yet. Capricorn. Yeah. 10 of swords. Maybe you've had an ending with this person. Okay, and, and it does feel like you've got somebody that really does want to put in the work and they're doing the work on themselves. They're working on being a better counterpart for you. But for others of you that I'm just picking up on their history and this person knows that you've been through a lot. You know, I, I do feel like they're around you. They're watching you. So it, it could be a friend that wants to be more. It could be a coworker. Um, it could be a neighbor. It could, but it feels like it's somebody who knows a little bit about you and your, and your history. So they know that you're healing from something. They see that you're in alignment. I also am getting this energy, Capricorn, that this person really respects your authenticity and that you're, you're really unapologetic about speaking your truth. Um, and, and I kind of feel there's a little bit of, not, I don't want to say envy, but more so admiration um, for the fact that you do speak your truth. Um, yeah, that, that you speak your truth here. And they may be waiting for you to heal. Um, whether that's from a breakup or like something going on within your family or the loss of a loved one. And if that's the case, Capricorn, I'm sending you lots of love and light, peace and ease. Yeah, the moon in reverse. See, this person, this person admires you because they feel like you see the path forward very clearly. But they also know something about you, Capricorn. Okay, and that's a big clue here. They do know that you've been through a scary time. Maybe they know that you've gotten out of a relationship with this emperor in reverse, possibly an Aries person or somebody who brought you a lot of drama, maybe even an abusive relationship, an unhealthy relationship, because they're doing their homework here, but they haven't been quite ready to reach out or speak up. Um, but they are, but they're like, they're moving slowly, gathering information is what I'm getting about you and their true intentions. I'm not reading that this person wants to hurt you. Not at all. I'm actually reading that this person wants to get to the heart of the matter. They want to know you. They want to know how you feel. They want to know what makes you tick. They want to know if you're available. Okay. And, and I think they're realizing too, that they, they, it may be very hard for them to communicate their feelings. It may have been in the past or may be very hard for them to, you know, get to the heart of the matter. Because I do kind of feel that, like they might have some people-pleasing tendencies, okay? And, and they maybe are realizing that, you know, they need to say what they mean, mean what they say. And their intention is to do that with you. Yeah, we see the Queen of Pentacles energy in reverse. All right. Some of you, this person, yeah, this person, uh, I, I feel like they're not quite ready to like all out invest or even necessarily even have this conversation yet because I feel like they're, they could be saving up. They could feel like they're not where they need to be in their journey. Yeah. But they're planning. This is what I'm getting. The three of wands. They're planning on coming towards you. They're planning on having this conversation. I feel like, I feel like they're a little bit nervous about this. I feel this is a major departure for them. So with the eight of pentacles here, it might be somebody that you work with. It might be somebody that you see in a place that you go back to, which could be school. It could be the gym. It could be, you know, the neighborhood, your favorite bar club restaurant. For some of you, it's the dog park, you know, yoga class, whatever it might be. Spirit's telling you to keep doing what you're doing. But I do feel that you have your back to this person and most likely because they haven't spoken up yet. This person's assessing. They may also be a little bit worried about their physical body is what I'm getting. So they could be healing from something, but I'm also getting that, um, they might be, I kind of get this person working out, trying to get a little fit, whether it's trimmed down, whether it's build a little muscle. Like, I feel like they're a little bit insecure about coming forward, 
um, either because of a health issue or maybe just they're, they don't feel like they're where they want to be uh, physically is what I'm getting. Also, I mean, I, I think mentally, emotionally, they're, they know what they need to do, um, but I do get a little insecurity there. And um, with the eight of pentacles, yeah, they might. And if this is somebody like you know from the gym or somewhere you work out or you exercise, like they might feel a little bit intimidated by you. But I feel like you have an inkling here that there's somebody watching you or that there's somebody into you. I, I get my Capricorns are very intuitive here and that you're, you're feeling their presence, you're feeling their energy. Page of Cups in reverse and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so what I the Six of Pentacles is always a reminder that what you're looking for is looking for you. Um, but some of you, you may not trust this. Okay, you may not trust this, and it, and it could be because of this blocked throat chakra. Maybe you've talked to this person a few times, and you didn't really get the vibe that they were super into you. So again, I think this is gonna be this is gonna be quite a shock and a surprise. But this person is single with this nine of pentacles. This person is wow, nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles flanking this reading. There's potential for this to be something to be something much more long term. Um, but I do see this vanity energy. Some of you, this is somebody you know from the gym. And, um, you know, maybe you've talked to this person and they, like I said, they didn't really give you the vibes that they were into you or something like that. But I feel like that's because of their insecurity because I am kind of getting that whatever your situation is here, this person does feel, I don't think they feel like you're completely out of their league, but they definitely, their insecurities are heightened when they're around you just because they like you so much. And maybe they feel like you're just, you have more clarity, you have more direction. You, you know, you've been on this particular journey longer than they have. Okay, but um, I do feel like this person is going to come in and, and ask you out. The Six of Pentacles is also with the Eight of Pentacles. Definitely, you know this person from a place where money is exchanged. Um, you know, and again, maybe you go into their work, maybe they come into yours. But for a lot of you, I'm getting it's like some sort of activity that you do where you, where you know this person. Okay, so we see liar energy. Yeah, and we see that with the Ace of Swords. All right, long distance lover, okay, and loves to go out. Interesting. So there is a little bit of a red flag here about truth, okay? And, and for the vast majority of my Capricorns, I'm not getting that this person has lied to you. I'm really reading this more as having a blocked throat chakra. Um, you know, they may have even told you that they were seeing someone, and they might be kicking themselves like, I'm not seeing anybody. I just got really nervous and I didn't want Capricorn to think that I was like, you know, that I was obsessed. <laughs> okay, that's the kind of energy I'm getting. Um, if this is somebody that you've dealt with and, and, and they told you at some point in time that they didn't care or they didn't love you or something like that, I just, I feel like that's, it's just wrong. It just wasn't true. So I do feel like this person is coming in to speak the truth. Um, I feel like this person is coming in to get to the heart of the matter. I just, I feel like they're just not quite ready yet. So it might take six to eight days. Okay. For this to happen. I, I do see some of you, you're not going to be trusting this. And again, either because they give you, gave you misinformation or they lied to you in the past. And again, that would be a huge red flag. So no, no good reader is going to recommend that you, you know, give someone a chance who lies, who cheats, who steals, who doesn't, you know, have integrity. But I'm kind of reading this lie more so as a blocked throat chakra. They said something that they didn't mean um, and, and they're coming in to clear it up. But it's like they're strategizing. They're strategizing about how to do that. And they're, and they're recognizing that their ego was running the show. Okay, and we see financially stable. So this person, they are in this nine of pentacles energy. I do see that they have everything, everything they need but love. Okay, so you're going to have to let me know, Capricorn, how this resonates with you down below. All right, let's see. What does this person want you to know? What does this person want you to know? Longing. Yeah, see, separation is an illusion. We're always connected in our hearts. Wow. So if this is a past person, Capricorn, they still feel very connected to you, even if you haven't spoken to them in, in a long time, even if they told you, you know, that they didn't, you know, they didn't care or something along those lines. Um, but for a lot of you, I'm getting this person's been lo loving you from afar for, for a while. So it may be somebody you haven't dealt with at all, and they're just a secret admirer. So my convictions have been put to the test. These paradigms are deeply ingrained in me. Yeah, and, and that's that ego energy I was picking up on. Like this person realizes they need to do things differently in order to get different results. 
and I, I, and they're struggling with it, but I do see this person making strides, taking chances, doing things differently, being more honest, emotionally honest. And I, and I feel like that dishonesty comes from more of like, or came from, or comes from more of a self-preservation. Like not necessarily that this person lies, but the fact that this person has a hard time speaking their truth or speaking their, you know, um, you know, standing up for themselves at times or saying what they really mean. Cause I do, I did get early on like a bit of a people pleasing energy. All right. And I hear you, I feel you. So they do feel deeply connected to you, Capricorn. All right. So let's see, let's see what else spirit wants you to know about this connection. What else does spirit want my Capricorns to know about this connection, please? Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. Yeah. I mean, we see the nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So I feel like whatever this blocked throat chakra energy or this dishonesty is, is not like a deal breaker dishonesty. Okay. And I hope that makes sense for you. And, and if it is, if this person did lie to you, you know, no way, right? No way. Um, you know, if they lied to you about being single or if they lied to you about, you know, um, you know, how, you know, anything that's a deal breaker, like you'll know better than I do, but I, I do feel like it's more of a blocked throat chakra energy and someone's undergoing a spiritual transformation. And I also think a bit of an ego death here, Capricorn. Okay. Children are important to this connection. Okay. So that would make sense. Maybe this person told you, you know, they didn't want children because they didn't think you did. Okay. Or, you know, or something along those lines. Um, maybe they didn't tell you about having children or being a parent or something like that. So again, Capricorns, you're going to know what your deal breakers are. You are going to know what this blocked throat chakra is and means for you and whether or not it's something that you can, um, whether or not you can trust them or not. But I do feel this is someone who's, they're, they're strategizing about coming towards you. Um, I can see that you're not all of you are going to be completely trusting it and, and that's okay. Remember your own agency, your power to say no or to walk away here. Um, but they're coming in and it's somebody with secret feelings for you. Yeah, so addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so maybe some, some of you too, this person needs to tell you about some bad habits that they're cleaning up. Um, and keep an open mind. But Spirit's telling you, Capricorn, to hear this person out. Um, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so maybe they tried to present themselves as something they're not because they thought that's what you wanted to hear. And I know that's not always like a beautiful message, like, wow, that's the person I want to be with. But I do feel like this person has been trying to impress you. But I kind of feel like they're not going to be in that energy anymore. They're coming in with truth and authenticity, getting to the heart of the matter because they, they do want a real chance with you. And Spirit saying, Capricorn, this is a true love situation. So it, it, it's here if you want it. So you're going to have to let me know if you're going to give this person a chance, if you know who I'm talking about, um, or if you're, if you're going to walk away. Is it too little, too late? Or, you know, did that ship already sail? All right, my lovely Capricorns, I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.